Hey everyone, it's Niagara Fishing Videos here, and today I'm going to be showing you the reels that I own. So, I, to start off, I have three spinning reels and one bait caster. And within the next year or so, I hope to be getting rid of one or two of my spinning reels and getting a new one. And getting two new bait casters, and I'll tell you about those at the end. Just to start off right now, I have a Shakespeare Sigma. This is an older reel that I got from my dad. And I use this for spinner baits and buzz baits mainly. And uh, some top waters like poppers and whatnot. I also use it for pike fishing because I have 15 pound monofilament. So when I go for pike when they're uh, in season, I usually put uh, crankbaits and jerk baits on here like uh, Rapala GT7 flats, uh, storm jointed minnow sticks, a lot of uh, lures that uh, you can catch pike with. Also some spoons like some daredevil spoons and some MEP cyclops. Uh, this is. It's sort of a heavy reel, but that's mainly because it's older. It's still very, uh, very good quality. Very smooth, very smooth drag. The rear drag is actually very cool. Uh, if you spin it to zero, that's just minimum. That's no drag at all. And then it goes all the way from zero all the way up to 13. And that's maximum drag. That means like, you can't bring anything out. It's just like stopped. When I fish for pike with this, I usually put it around 10 or 11. And when I fish for bass, I put it in between 9 and 7. So sometimes 8, sometimes 9, depending on the condition. Depending on what I'm, uh, where I'm fishing. Next I have this Quantum Reacts spinning reel. I got this at Canadian Tire. Uh, I think I paid $29.99 for this and the rod. And it's regular $100 or $89 or something like that. I got it on sale. It's actually a good rod for the money, or a good reel for the money. Uh, very light. Very comfortable to hold. Very, very smooth. It's not choppy at all. Uh, the drag's very smooth. It has an anti slip clutch. It's uh, actually pretty good quality for the money I paid for it. I have 8 pound monofilament on here. But I don't really use this all that much. Sometimes I'll just throw crankbaits on it. If I just want to run out and go fishing, I don't really care where I'm going. I like just run down the road and go in the Welland Canal or something one day. I'll grab this and just the rod that goes with it and just cast. The next spinning reel I have, I use this for crankbaits from, from time to time. But this is mainly my finesse fishing reel. It's a Sh uh, Shimano Stratic. Very nice reel. I have 8 pound mono on here. I hope you're getting 8 pound fluorocarbon and I'm making this strictly my uh, finesse fishing reel. Very nice, very comfortable, very light. And it holds quite a bit of line. Very good quality. Uh, this is one is made in Japan. And very, very smooth. The drag's nice. All uh, very, very high quality reel. The next reel I have, and the final reel I have, is my Shimano Sitica Baitcaster. This is a 6.51 gear ratio. And this is it's an all around baitcaster. This is the first baitcaster I've ever had. It does not burn as easily. It's very good, very good for that. Uh, I've never really casted a bait cast before. First time, I didn't get a bird's nest. I started going with the magnets uh, slowly off, and I've only had one bad bird's nest, and I still got it out. It wasn't nothing I couldn't get out, but it was still pretty bad. Uh, very nice drag system. Has lots of different technology like the high efficiency gearing system, the super stopper, uh, the quick fire clutch bar, the anodized spool and handle. Uh, these grips are very, they're uh, almost like an anatomical fit to your hand. Really uh, form fitting to you, like when you hold it, very comfortable. And very light reel, the variable braking system, very nice. Open it up, and you have the brakes. And that's the uh, Shedika. So those are the reels I currently own. That's them. And uh, I hope to be getting rid of either the Quantum or the Sigma and be picking up a Shimano Symmetry and I'll be using that for uh, a little bit of everything you know just throwing, throwing some crankbaits on there, a little bit of like some buzz baits and spinner baits and topwaters um, I'll be using the Stratic here for I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna use it strictly for uh, finesse fishing like I said then I hope to be getting a 5 to 1 ratio loose speed spool and using that for just crank baits and jerk baits and stuff. And a 7 to 1 Abu Garcia Pro Max bait caster. And that's going to be for, uh, that's going to have braided line on it. I'm going to be using that for uh, frogging, Alabama rigs, top waters, uh, flipping and pitching, 
all, all that stuff. So tune in. I'll be sure to update you guys when I get that. And tune in to the giveaway I'm going to be having soon. I got some really great lures that I'm going to be giving away to you guys. So I'll look for that as well. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.